Good day, traders. This is Rich with some weekend price action on the markets. It's 4.30 p.m. August 29th, 2020. And in this video, I'm just gonna go over real quick some level two information. I've learned quite a bit over the last six months or so. And this is one of the things I look out for when I'm trading. There's several different things you need to look at when you're reading the tape. Um, the guys I'm learning from have really taught me a lot and this is not to take away from them of course I'm just trying to share what I'm seeing and they saw the same thing the same day um, and I took screenshots of this because it was just so obvious and so blatant um, you know the markets are tr trading generals is really difficult and when you can get manipulated by big money or algorithms or whatever they say whoever those people are um, it's kind of annoying, it's kind of frustrating because you're looking for an edge and trading is all about finding that edge and you know you can't just throw a stock in play and hopefully it wins. I mean, that's what trading is, but you have to have some kind of edge in your favor to give you more confidence in your trade that you take. But when you see um, antics or some kind of horseplay on the level two, it could help you avoid a potential um, reversal of your trade, so to speak, because you can get in on a trade at, let's say, the $5 level and thinking it's a great entry. Um, it's showing you a great entry only to be manipulated and the stock would rug pull you down to 475 in like five seconds. So um, there's a lot of different, like I said before, there's a lot of different ways that you can see this but i'm just going to go over a few pictures of what i was seeing on level two at first i thought it was just a mistake in my platform and then everyone else started seeing it and you know i talked about level two in a different video um, level two shows the books in real time of what orders are available now you could be hidden um you know if let's say you want to sell a thousand shares you can set it so you can hide your shares so no one can see it Let's say it on this Apple, it could be 50190. Um, well, actually, we'll do the 50192. I could put 100 shares out there, um, but behind this 100 shares, there could be another thousand behind there. Um, you just never know how many shares are really available, but these are the kind of the tells of the market, and this is what the information you get. Um, but when the price is showing you something different, um, something that's really obviously different. Um, you have to take action and avoid those trades or get out of them as quick as possible. Even if it does go in your direction, it's just not worth it because um, it's been happening more and more. And, then, and I'm noticing this more and more. Once I started learning it, that was one thing. Because um, level two really shows you the order flow. Um, it's really hard to learn. Reading the tape and time and sales is really hard to learn. Um, you saw my other video the other day where I was trying to enter a trade, but it was so fast. Um, but I, sh I could see the momentum building, so that allowed me to watch the momentum. If I didn't watch it, I was just watching, let's say, just the chart here. Um, you know, That's how I used to trade. But if I'm just watching this, once I find my price that I want to enter, and then I start watching level two, it gives me such a bigger edge. Now, you saw how I missed those two trades, and I missed tons of trades in the past as well but I did catch a few. So the goal is to catch as many good ones as possible. But the manipulation and the antics and the misbehavior are something you need to watch out for so you don't get stuck in a trade that just goes against you without um, actual price action. It's just, it's just bogus um, manipulation by other people or other algorithms, so to speak. And there's a lot behind that. I'm not really sure all the ins and outs of those things. But I just want to show you a few pictures of what I saw on this one stock last, I think it was two weeks ago. We'll just say it was, it was in August um, 2020. But this happens all the time. Maybe not on this level or this obvious, um, but it was noticed by all and it was multiple platforms. Of course, this is TradeStation. So we're showing the same books. You know, we're showing ARCA, we're showing EdgeX, we're showing NASDAQ. Um, you know, there's plenty of books being shown. And when this happened, it was like, okay, I was on finger on the buy button and then I just went away. I'm like, forget it. Even if it worked, it wasn't worth it. So let's just look at these images and I'll show you what I'm talking about. 
So FMCI, um, I don't even remember what the stock was. Um, you know, pretty thin. I think it was middle day. Uh, 1.5 million shares traded. And this, I think, was the first picture I took. Um, you can see the volume is really low on the bid side. You know, we had a couple, we had a 600 down here at 1777. But look at the spacing between that and 1790 with 35 shares. Um, but look at it on the other side. Okay, you have this huge 1798 um, on the histogram. You have 5,000 on Batty, 5,000 on EdgeX, 5,000 on New York Stock Exchange. 5116 on Nasdaq, which means there's another 5,000, but someone else, maybe one other person was on like 116. And all the way down, there's 5,000 shares. If you see something like this, something's not right. Something's just not correct. So let's say you were looking for an 18 buy. You know, 1798 are where the sellers are, but these are bogus sellers. Something's not right. They don't, they want to push the stock down. And they were, I don't even know really what it means, but just, I just, all I know is if you see something like this, you're best to avoid it and move on. So let's go look at the next picture. Okay, so price had changed and the price went through the 18 level. So those guys lifted their price from the 1798 and now they're showing the same exact thing almost at 1804. So now they're really trying to press it down. So maybe they let it go through the 18 level and now they're like, okay, you got to 1804, let's see what happens now. And then you know, people that bought are like, oh shoot, and they might be selling. So let's go to the next image. So here it is, 1804 is the bid right now, or the ask right now, uh, and the bid was 1795. You know, very short bids on the side, so this could rug pull and it's just not worth taking. So it's 1.5 million still. And then the final image, they did let go up. And look, they came back at 1811. So yeah, it keeps going up, but notice the bid side. The bid side's still at 1796. The bid side hasn't really changed, just the ask has changed. So you're seeing the spread open up. And yeah, you can get in there for a little bit of a gain, but is it really worth it? Um, this price ended up falling down that day. Um, FMCI ended up falling from these this level, never broke above until after hours, I think. And it just wasn't worth it. So this is what I wanted to share with you. Quick video on um, antics you might see on level two. I mean, look at this, they're all the same. You know, on, on the normal case, for example, on um, Apple, you have all different types of share sizes, you know? If you see multiple, especially more than three, then it's time to get out and not even think about it and just move on to the next trade. So that was a quick little level two lesson that I've seen and it's been happening more and more lately where price is just getting locked up at a certain level where I'm getting in and it doesn't move, it tries again, doesn't move. Um, and then I decide not to take the trade because it's just not gonna work out, so. All right. That sums it up. There's a lot of level two lessons out there that you need to learn. I have a lot to learn as well. If you have a good uh, source, please let me know. Um, I'm just watching as much as possible. I watch all my game tape like the other day I've been showing you guys. Um, it helps to learn order flow and how price is moving and you know if you can take momentum to enter your trade quick if you do have a slower rig um, or your platform's just not as fast. It allows you to get in the trade on time and not get in too early or obviously miss the trade. So keep an eye out for more level two. I'll have some other in-between videos in the future and you guys have a good one.